Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to a brand new Let's Play. Today we're going to be kicking off Final Fantasy 3. That is the original Final Fantasy 3, not Final Fantasy 6 in, in America and all that sort of shit. Uh, this is the game I know least about out of the entirety of the numbered Final Fantasies, I think, except for 11. Um, I played the, the DS version way back when it came out. But I can't really remember much of it, and I don't know how different this Pixel Remaster version is going to be either. So let's have a quick look at the extras and stuff that this game comes with. Uh, Beastery, Music Player, Gallery, the typical... Ooh, Gallery. Have we unlocked any yet? We haven't locked them, but I'm not going to look at them in case of spoilers and stuff. So they're the sort of extras, the same as the other Pixel games really. Options, should we have a little look at these? Licenses, Configuration, Modernized Font Style... Definitely. I'm getting used to these Pixel Remasters now. <laughs> Background music, arranged, or we can have the classic. I prefer to keep on the new stuff to check it all out, even though I haven't played through this version of the of Final Fantasy 3 anyway. But, brightness, okay, master volume, yeah, we'll keep all that the same. Controls, confirm, back, open, the typical sort of controls for all of them. Uh, open and close map with square, auto battle on and off with square, okay, and check controls on here. Anything to do with boosts. That's what I'm looking for to see what sort of boosts this version has. Encounters on and off are three. Okay, and we're going to press L3 straight away to get onto default to run. It's, it's better to have a quicker, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's get going. I'm really excited for this. I've, I've been meaning to play this for so long, and as soon as the Pixel Remaster came out, that was my way of doing it. Okay, no default names? Suggested names. Okay, let's try them. Anus. <laughs> go, with, go with Anus. <laughs> no, you know what? The main guy. We're going to go with Greeny. Lowercase, just to be awkward. Sorry, OCD people. I'm, uh, actually, I don't like it either. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> go capital. I always do my username in, in lowercase g. You know, the cute effect. <laughs> oh, it used to be for the cute effect when I was younger. Um, okay, so we'll go greeny. By you, we'll go... Mm, I don't know what to go for. We'll go for suggested names for the others. Glitz, I don't like any of them. Morgan, no, it's too normal. Saren, Eden, Saren, <laughs> Ariel, Kylie, Corrad, Eden, Glitz. It's doing the same ones all I don't like Frank. I don't like any of them. I wish he gave us some default names. It's nothing. No, we don't want anus. Stop giving me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, okay, we'll go for some games I really like. So, so Link. We'll go for Link. Uh, yes, use our name. The thing is, none of them are female. Oh, you can't tell if any of them are male or female, so it's hard to. So I guess we'll just go for random, and go for Vivi. If they end up being like physical fighters, even though it's Vivi or something. And, you know, that's how it works out. <laughs> and we are going to be give a girly one to the pink one, just for the sake of it. And I think we'll go for Garnet. I like that. And if it ends up looking like a man when you change classes and stuff. <laughs> All the more fun, right? <laughs> Done. Yes. Greeny, Link, Vivi and Garnet. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> I'm so bad with naming things. I just use things from places I, I know. But yeah, this is going to have like a, a, a class system. I'm not very good at class systems, so this is going to get interesting, I think. Into the silence, one of the Gulgans prophesied. Uh, the great earthquake was only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystals, source of the, sources of the world's light, were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from... Ugh. Yeah, that was nothing compared to the catastrophe had come. Yeah, it's, it's auto-scrolling. I <laughs> Something fathomless, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon, but hope is not yet gone completely. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light, and so it shall begin, just like the first game. I feel like this was imitated in the first game, but it, is, it does have its differences, don't we? It's, it's very different, in fact. Four orphaned youths, gotta be orphaned, raised by Tupapa in the rural village of Ur, were out to test their metal. They came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. What started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. Ah, Little kids with suits of armour. <laughs> okay, is that all four of them? Yeah, okay. 
Ouch! Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. Now what do we do? You sure this is a good idea? Maybe we can climb out. You wanted to go exploring. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, quit squabbling, you two. We need to find a way out of here. It's weird that it's blue text. Automatically walk in, okay. But like I said, I haven't played this game for a long time and it was the 3D version, so I I'm going to be really bad with this. I have done a bit of research on optional stuff just to make sure we have that. So it looks like all we can do is attack an item for now. And, you know, defend and stuff, I'm sure. But these are only goblins, so they'll be easy. They ain't even hitting us. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> I think it's meant to be a an easy fight, but maybe it's impossible to lose. Do you think they keep missing? I don't know. What were those monsters doing here? We're in way over our heads. Let's get out as fast as possible. Okay, so let's go to save. Yes, the controls. Happy days. Let's close that. Let's have a look at the menu then. So we got the typical sort of stuff, I guess. Formation, they can go in back and front row. That's good to know. And if you haven't noticed, this is before they really have personalities and stuff. Final Fantasy 4 is what introduces that. So, we have got Onion Knights. Everyone has Onion Knights. That's where the, the sort of freelancers or squires or whatever other games you're used to are known as Onion Knights, say the basics. They can do bits of everything, basically. If you have a look at the top right, you see job level and going down on each character. So the job level levels up, and that makes that job level better. But you also level up in general, like an overall level. As you can see in the middle, level 1. Um, yeah, that, that levels up as well, and you get overall, whichever class you're in, your stats are better, kind of thing. So you can see your MP, sort of like Final Fantasy 1, I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what it's going to be like. So we've got items and key items. Okay, magic. I haven't got any magic. You can exchange magic. Oh, you can exchange magic between them. Oh, that's... That's handy. Could have done with that in Final Fantasy 1 or 2, 2. Um, equipment, so we're starting with knives. They've all got the same stuff just to make them feel as generic as possible at the very start, but you sort of change them as you go. Jobs, we haven't got jobs by the seams of it yet. Status, so you can see everyone has the exact same stats to kick things off. Again, all the same until you change their classes into different sort of moulds. Formation is that sort of thing. Do you move them around like... Yeah, you do. Okay. So I'm going to put a link at the end. I've gone. I don't know. I'll do. Uh, configuration. Actually, no. Garnet. If I'm going by names, I'd like the mages to be hit less. And I think that nearer to the bottom they are, the, the less they get hit. Config. We've seen all this sort of stuff. But re-equip. Ooh. Set equipment away after switching jobs. Set equipment to optimal after switching jobs. Set equipment to... Okay, so you can remove all when you change jobs. Or you can optimize. Op opt opt ooh, optimize is what I'm going for. I'm going to run. Continue water battle. Off. Yeah, off. We can put it back on every fight if I need to. Master volume and stuff. Go back up. Oh, no. uh, graphic display. All the stuff that we saw before, really. We can also put it back on classic, which I don't like at all. They say it's like a CRT. Is it CRT or CTR uh, telly? The old ones. But that ain't what they used to look like. Dear God. They're never that bad. Boosts. Here we go. Encounters on or off. We can press R3 for that. EXP. However much we want to collect. Gil. I'm guessing that EXP is for job levels as well, do you reckon? I don't know, I don't say. Uh, change the amount of... Yep. Change the amount of gill obtained in battle. So, yeah, you can have none, you can have tons. But it's weird that there's no job job level, like, EXP as well to go with it. I, I find that a bit odd. Anyway, let's get going! Actually start the game. <laughs> a leather shield and a potion. Okay, potions heal, obviously. I'm going to give the leather shield to our greenie. He's going to be our main knight by the end of it, hopefully. Huh? What's that blue text though? Is it odd? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. I already mentioned it. Ooh! <laughs> so it's starting this sort of thing where you ex analyze things. Okay, if I put auto battle on, it'll speed it up a bit. But yeah, you can analyze things to find items to unlock walls and things like that. So it's kicking that sort of thing off. Nice, let's go. What's this chest for? Leather shield. Okay, let's equip that right away on Link. Nice. That's a good little upgrade, actually. Do you only find goblins in here, do you reckon? Nope, here come the new ones. <laughs> well, okay, everyone just attack for now. There's nothing else much we can do. And they're going down in one hit anyway. Ooh, crit, very nice. Sorted. Okay, one more battle and we should go up a level. Antarctic wind, so that does ice damage against. Is it all enemies or just one? doesn't say, but I think is. I get the impression it's all enemies. Potion. If we press square, we can get on the map. You can see there's a couple of chests up above. Okay, will this be enough to level us up? 
I don't know. It's only two of them. We only need 40 XP, though. Oh, one more battle. One more battle. Ooh, chest. Potion. If we come across... Well, okay. Another new enemy with the eye fangs at the back. No, no missing. No missing. We can't afford, can't afford to miss. Okay, our health is going down, but we're fine. They're very basic enemies. It's, if they made it hard in this dungeon, it would have been sadistic. Not that old games wasn't averse to doing that, but, <laughs> you know. Whoop, okay. Uh, these guys at the back. Yeah, we were missing a fair bit in that fight. Okay, greenies, all of their job levels went up and all of their levels, so just HP for all of them. That's okay. But yeah, job levels went up. Look, it's a spring! Yeah, <laughs> why is it such an odd colour? It's poison! Let's take a sip. I'm <laughs> not too sure about this. I agree with you, actually. Let's get a chest first. Uh, yeah, let's... It's a healing spring, so Final Fantasy III introduces this sort of thing in the middle of dungeons. How good is that? Killed, allies, revived, and everything. How amazing is that? You need it. So I'm going to run around by you and get up to level 3 a sec. If I see a new enemy, I will let you know. Yay, everyone leveled up. <laughs> Everyone's up on level 3 now. It says that the two job levels have gone up, and they have, but they also all went up to level 3 at one point as well. They're going up really quick on the job levels. I don't know what the max uh, job level is for people. Is it level 9, do you reckon? Not too sure, but yeah, let's heal up now then. You know what it's like, if you find a healing point, a free healing point, you can use it, right? Let's get cracking then. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got to fight before we can move on. They must have 7 HP, because whenever we do 7 damage to the, the carbuncles, it seems to be enough to kill them off, and 6 isn't. Oddly, <laughs> the higher level we're going... <laughs> The less damage we're doing. It's, we're not getting any more strength, see? Job levels of the two that well, you know, didn't go up before. Hey, Jay. We made it to the Wind Crystal. It saved us, so that's all good. What's going on? A malicious force attacks the party. Here we go. Boss number one. Boss music is so nice. Like it's a, it's a, it seems to be a bit of a remix of what we've viewed already in the past Final Fantasy games. But even still, so nice. This is gonna be an easy boss, isn't it? It's because I did that little tiny bit of level grinding. Not exactly a huge amount. There are people out there who would, who would go up to like level ten by now. Well done. There we go. <laughs> you know, can imagine going up to level ten by you? There are people who are nuts enough to do it. I don't. Okay, job levels all went up. Nice. Here we go. We found our first crystal. You know, like in the first Final Fantasy, where you're going for the four crystals? Same sort of idea for this one. Crystal shines brightly. You four have been chosen. Oh, a crystal is talking. I give unto you the last of my light, and with it, the last hope of a fading world. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept the light into your hearts, and the crystals will grant you unimaginable strength. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. You cannot allow light to fade from the world. The party is enveloped in a bright light. Here we go. So everything seemed really basic so far? It, 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 it has been. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love how they're different colours and... Within the light, the will of the crystal surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. They're kids, of course they're going to. They love a bit of adventure. And so began a journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. The young heroes received the crystal's power. This game has amazing music, by the way. Get ready for the world map music. Ugh. I don't know about the remastered version. I bet it's stunning, though. I've heard it all on Sea Rhythm. I love that game. <laughs> I love Sea Rhythm. I actually went for the plat. And, uh, it's good. And with it, the world's last light of hope. Warrior, Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, and Red Mage now available. Okay, we're going to be mixing a match it now. 
Step upon the magic sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. Oh, we were. Oh, that was a quick trophy. Received power from the wind crystal. All right. So let's get changing on over. If we have a look at where we go, we're gonna have a warrior for our greenie. Oh, we can we'll go there. Okay. Uh, Link. What can we make him? I want him to be another type of. Uh, we'll go for monk for now. I'll do the equipment after. Let's just do this first. Black mage. And white mage. Yeah, we'll go for that. And now we'll do the equipment. We haven't really got much to work with right now. We haven't found a town yet. Oh, obviously we haven't. But we're only in the start of the dungeon, so we should be fine. Two, two knives? Get that off. <laughs> Um, yeah, there we go, that's, that's not much else we can actually do, is there? we got a spare shield as well now, so that's good. Let's go! Yes. We will actually be heading straight back in now, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> and there we are! Let's head back in. I'll let you listen to that, that track at the end of the episode. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Have a look at the two chests over to the right. There it is. Hidden passageways. A thousand gil. Two thousand gil to kick her off. To kick her off with... Uh, shopping for our new party. Look at them. They've changed how they look and everything. Ooh, look how much damage I did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the punching white mage. I wouldn't be having her do that if I... Uh, if it was not all the battle. Okay, so let's have a little look. I think we got switch maps. How many more? We got another five chests to find. Notice this time around, if you saw my Let's Plays on 1, 2, and 4, there's items as well as chests now. So they've started that up. So you need to find sparkly items and things like that. And this, the last of the chests. Let's go. It's so easy to miss these, to not go back into the, the dungeon and just miss them. So easy. I'm attacking with the other two just to get a bit of JP because I think that's how it works out, or AP, what's it called in this game. Yeah, try and get some job points. That's bronze bracers. I don't know what that is. It would have helped if I went on the the inventory menu and maybe I could have done that. Ooh, here we go. Only for mages, maybe? I want to give that then to a oh, white mage. Because she'll be the one to try and keep everyone alive. Longsword? Yes! We're getting some really good stuff. Can you imagine going to the town and buying all this stuff? And then finding out you can just come here. Nanchaku, of course, that's for our monk. Look at the attack increase on that. And he's already doing a ton of damage. His accuracy went down. But another longsword. I'd rather not have two longswords on. I'd rather have... Um, what's the word? A shield. I should put those two in the back row as well, but at the same time, with our Vivi at least is killing off enemies. Job level increased for Link and Garnet. Good. Sleep. Ooh, yay. So you have to use them as items in this game, do you? Like the books in Final Fantasy 2 and stuff. Black magic. Let's sleep. You might as well learn it. He hasn't got any MP yet, does he? Hmm. Okay. Let's get out to another. Ah. But yeah, like I said, we will put those two in the back row eventually. Right now, though, I, I don't think there's any point. Ooh, more job level increases. Okay. So, the first town is going to be by there. What I'm going to do in between episodes is have a few fights around on the world map. And I will let you know if I see any sort of newbies hanging around. Right now it looks like it's just goblins. Maybe it'll be the same enemies as in the cave. It would make sense. But get our job levels up a bit. I think that's the main thing. I know levels are going to go up now. Let's have one more fight. So you can see the level increase. Two more goblins. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any interest in enemies around here. What I've done, in terms of research and stuff, just so I'm not going completely blind... You know, I can't remember much of it. Uh, just for optional stuff, I don't want to miss bestiary entries and item misses and things like that. So I've looked up where they can be missed. And also, I have looked up 
optional dungeons, things like that. So, yay, level up. <gasps> Here we go again, proper stats now. Link as well. Vivi's going up. We and the spirit for her. Nice. Okay, so that'll do me for now. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head on into our first town. See you in a bit, folks.